and we know obviously you're working with Pascal and Steve Collins. But it was evident at the press conference today just how much belief they've got in you. How much has that? How much has that helped you? How important has that belief been from them, especially someone like Steve, who's been in exactly your position? Steve and, Steve and Pascal have been in boxing all their life, um, so they wouldn't have that belief um, unless they knew something. And uh, that's why we've all got the belief, we've all got the confidence. And uh, they're shaken. Um, you can see, you see they're shaken. They, uh, they doubted. They, they went for the easy option. They looked at me, uh, see, see, see an easy defence, nice quick payday in between fights. Um, I think they kind of got second thoughts, pulled out of the fight. Um, whether that was a broken nose or bad preparation or what, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, and then they've realised they need a, need a little uh, advantage, so they've tried to bring in Boy Jones. But it's going to work. It's going to work in our favour. Come in, try and change their, change their attitude, change their training, um, put them in two minds. So perfect. You're the underdog with the bookmakers at the moment. Steve's been in that position himself in a super middleweight world title fight more than once. What's he said to you about dealing with that, dealing with that? Because you, most of your career you've been the favourite in your fights. This one you're an underdog. How has it changed and how has Steve kind of helped you deal with that situation? At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what anyone thinks. Um, I'm going to get in there and do my job um, and he's going to try and do the same. Um, my sport is going to make a lot of money. You've been working with Alan Heary, the, the same psychologist that Steve used. Um, just, I know you can't go into the night of yeah. I know you can't go into that, what what it actually entails. But how much has that given you during this preparation? How much have you taken from that? I have put in maybe 25, 30 hours of solid work with Alan Heary over the over the 12 weeks. Um, so that's kind of been another another positive off the the delay. Um, it's, it's, it's phenomenal stuff. Um, part of me wishes that I wouldn't have done it a little while ago, um, but then it's kind of the, the world title and that being that being there has, has brought everything up. It's given us the ability to, to bring all the best in and uh, prepare properly. You're preparing for a world title, so you pull out all the stops. And um, it's kind of the level I, I needed to, to be at, so we've done everything properly. Can you give us a little flavour of what what you get up to? Is it, you listening to whale music or what <laughs> what are you up to? Um, well, it, it differs for, from person to person. Um, we, we've looked at what I needed um, and and things that needed to be changed, and uh, we've done that. We're, I can't really go into too much detail, if I'm honest with you. Obviously, 168 pounds is arguably the you know the strongest, most interesting division in the whole of boxing at the moment. <laughs> Do you see this now as your chance, really, to be to be part of that, and, and not just about money, but also about legacy? People like Steve Collins and Nigel Ben, that's where they made their name in this exact division. Without a doubt, um, super middleweight's always been a great division. It's kind of a mix between power and speed, and it's right right in the middle, as it, as it's, as its name. Um, yeah, I'm looking at Fedor Chudinov. I'm not looking any further than that. Um, so uh, so yeah, once I've won that fight, then we'll go from there.